Hello guys, you can see I'm at Pits right now and uh, I tried to explain this but I I, I, fuck, uh, I mess up how to explain this because it's simple, you can see that zone will close in 2 minutes 15, 50 seconds so it means uh, when mission starts it lasts for 15 minutes so in 2 minutes and 40 seconds uh, this 15 minutes would expire and greens, green bot spawns uh, because this is video of how to farm flags and my method is to kill green bots and green bots spawns 2 minutes before mission so in 2 minutes 20 seconds there will be uh, they will be green bot and I can make screenshot quickly Oops, incorrect so I can make screenshot and you can see that in 30 seconds from now so at 1970 and 18 seconds it would spawn uh, next green bot so I will quickly relog for my other ship this is my some shitty ship uh, maybe not that shitty uh, it's something I showed in previous videos something similar and I will show you how to farm green bot ah, I made mistake so first I save this ship um, save this ship and now you can see that I choose server where there are the least people on it so this is Ashan server why? because it's most likely for me to find green bot not harmed and it should spawn by now so I will quickly run the circle and find green bot and quickly kill him I try to kill him from distance because I don't want to get pushed uh, in random way that's the reason I have a sniper arm and you can see I'm very lucky I found two handheld pushers and some guy was unlucky because he came too late to the party and now I quickly uh, ship save ship and reload to another server with low uh, low player pool so on every European server there are 73 people so it's more likely that bot is already dead so I will run one circle hope that there was no one killing this green bot and I get lucky and get more handheld pushers usually you will get two balls from green bot unlucky but when you kill three green bots you are expected to get uh, at least one handheld pusher you know that would be expected value uh, I assume that one green bot killing one green bot uh, equals to five flags obviously there is variance and you will never get five flags you will get handheld pusher or not or maybe two handheld pushers but usually you will get balls so I'm, ru I'm running in the circles and looking for guinea bot when there is lower uh, online you have higher sh chance to find green bot and killing it but now mission uh, just ended and yeah it's very likely that someone out of mission went and killed green bot or maybe someone was ha hunting green bot uh, can i find green bot if not then i will log out and maybe check usa but it's you know every next server is less likely to find for me to find the green bot because the more time elapsed and also first i choose servers with lower online so for example on european server there are 70 people so it's very likely that someone already killed it and on usa there are about 140 people or 100 something so it's even more likely because more time expo uh, you know elapsed and also the more people are uh, it's possible that more people can you know kill this green bot so i will check uh, do one round 120 people so i go here 
And let's check. Okay. So, are there any people? Uh, I mean, if, is there green bot around? And I think the biggest chance is to find green bot is uh, if you know timing you will just log in every 15 minutes and you have chance to find the screen bot but when there is mission announcement that that's the time where when a green bot spawns so it's very likely that someone will try to go kill green bot because they see announcement which means that the green bot spawns and also there are people just going for the mission if mission is speeds, then maybe some percentage of people are relogging for a pit ship, which is not very good at killing, killing green bot. So there is a chance. Um, but yeah, just simply, if I don't find green bot right now, I really doubt, doubt that there is green bot alive. But I check because it, it's you know, it takes about one minute or maybe two minutes to patrol and return can be very nice. And if I, I'm, I'm unlucky because I don't find green bot, then I will go freeport, log out and log in in like 10 minutes. And yeah, is there green bot? I don't see, but also there is no one pretty much. Uh, there is some huge ship, time to attack him. But, you know, there are two big ships, so I'm not going to risk going here, especially that. Uh, now I try to record video and I, I don't want to make cuts, so I will show you the map in one second. Uh, so I go to Freeport, I will save and move to, uh, to Paint and Notepad. Okay. So I save ship, save ship, okay. And now here we go. I hope you can see, uh, let me check, yeah. I think you see everything what is important. So in this uh, situation, uh, if you know, if you know when this mission, then you can calculate. You can calculate when green bot spawns. Uh, okay, so mission start start minus uh, two minutes. I will write this. So in this case, uh, it's the same the same situation. You can okay mission starts at x and mission ends at x plus 15 minutes. So in this case, when zone closes in 2 minutes 50 seconds, you can say that green bot will spawn when you know zone closes to 0, 0. So I check timer and I see that it's gonna spawn at this uh, time. And now, when will be green bot uh, first? And uh, this is incorrect. Okay. So I can change, you know, do the math and calculate when will be next green bot. Or maybe. Okay, this one will be 0, 2. And this one will be 47. And this one 52. Okay, so. This way you can calculate when will be next green bot in my time. But uh, time zone doesn't matter because hour will change, but minutes will stay the same, at least for most uh, time zones. So I can, you know, make something like this and change hours 20, 20, 21st or just make uh, something like more general so just remove hours and remember what minutes that it will be next green bot and this way 
uh, I would, you know, cycle uh, servers. First check the most, uh, the last, uh, the servers with least play players. So in my case, at this time, it was uh, Singapore, but sometimes it's gonna be Poland or US East or whatever is US server. So simply choose servers you, you know, you want to play. You don't care about, uh, you want to join, so you join the least popu popular server. You don't care about luck because in the in least popular server there are gonna be no people usually. There are 22 people, so it's very unlikely that someone will kill you. So I don't care about luck. And I'm here just for two minutes to kill a green bot. Uh, and one more thing, uh, I think expected, expected drop is something like 2-5 uh, handheld pusher per green bot. So you can see that you should kill something like 2 and half green bot for one handheld pusher. So if you kill 5 green bots and you get 1 or 2 green, if you get 2 handheld pushers it's average. If you get more, then you know you are lucky. If less, then you are unlucky. But it's it's not. You you have to li really put big numbers to to you know to see uh, to not care about variance. This method is uh, pretty much. There is no much risk. You don't need strong sheep. You can be alone, and it doesn't take that much time because when you know this timing, they can sometimes pop a bit earlier. So when you go for the first server and you know run in, in cycle, and if you met first green bot, you kill it, and then you try to relog for an, another server. If you after one cycle, uh, run in Sparrow, you don't see green bot. You simply log out and go to next server, or you can give up. But yeah, um, okay, that's it. That's the way to get like. Plus five, ser plus five flags per green bot. And I think this is not a lot, but if you see that there are 12 green bots per hour on, uh, you know, every server on, call, uh, how to say it, uh, when you sum, sum up every server and every green bot spawn, then this is about 60 flags per hour possible. So if you get some percentage of that flux you will get rich and you don't need to spend that much time because yeah one you log in log out log in log out this is silly i don't like this and yeah but that's the method to get flux so thanks for watching and good luck with green bots and i will show you my uh, ship quickly uh, and this is over complicated, okay, because I got one handheld pusher previously and yeah, so I decided that I want over complicated shit. But you can remove every, these hatches are just for, you know, armor, these doors are for armor, you don't need this. You need just some thrusters, I think four on the ship is enough, one per wall, three, three, uh, remote turrets, so you have gun power. Sniper ammo is must, because you want to keep distance. You don't want to get hit by a uh, green bot, because green bot will push you somewhere far away. So yeah, sniper ammo provides you quick, quick kill for green bot, and that's the, uh, that's the goal. And you know, this is some repairs, but usually this is small, cheap ship. So you don't, I don't care if I lose it. Maybe this version, this is armored, has some, you know, handheld pushers and loaders, but you can make this very cheap, very simple ship, which is used only for hunting green bots. So yeah. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck. See ya.